Hi, I was inspired by Minecraft Addict's recent video on piston circuitry, and there's a link to that video in uh, the description, uh, to make my own redstone uh, components using um, pistons. And I actually found a way to uh, make a humble T flip farm. This is implemented in uh, Tabby Riders test world. You can also find that in the, the description. Um, and basically, it's um, a component that inverts the output whenever its input goes on and off. So, if I toggle the input, the output toggles. If I do it again, it goes on, again, it goes off, and so on. And it's used for um, counters and well basically anywhere <laughs> where you need um a flip flop. Now uh this is the basic design. It's two uh ordinary pistons opposite to each other and redstone in uh hole and on the top of a edge. And basically whenever you send a signal uh, only one of these pistons will move because uh, the redstone can only go down to the uh, to the bottom of this uh, hole at the other side. Oh, sorry. You can only go down uh, where the block, uh, the opposite end of the block. So now the redstone connects to this block and that powers uh, this piston. Send signal and the redstone now connects to this block and so on. So it will move back and forth. Uh, like that. You can also power the other side, which I suppose can be used uh, for a door of some kind. But what we need is some kind of uh, some way of getting an output signal from uh, this design. And unless you have a detector block, a block that can detect the, uh, the air block, uh, you need some way of sending a signal through. And one way, do, uh, one way of doing that is to uh, invert the uh, the input so that you always have a uh, powered signal. If I now click the block, uh, click the button, I allow the signal to go through uh, because this block, although it, is, it looks uh, a page, but it's actually it's actually possible for it to go through it and we have a T flip flop. But there is a problem. Whenever the signal goes off and the door closes, there's a short moment where the on signal can pass through. And there you have it. A short burst whenever the signal goes off. We can, of course, reverse the output if the redstone goes uh, taken from this end. You have the opposite problem. So this might be okay if you deal if you're dealing with a door. We really don't care. It's more noisy, but it's still still the same, still as functional. But if you have a counter or something more complicated you might want to avoid this design and instead use something like this. I have extended the design by adding two cobblestone and a glass block. And the glass block acts as a stopper. Uh, it blocks the signal uh, from a redstone torch. Now the signal gets uh, sent through 
now it's blocked and this is uh, it was necessary to uh, to move the redstone away from the torch as to not uh, be interfere as to, as to not interfere with the torch um, so basically a glass block acts just like an air block uh, and we can and this is the basic yeah, idea of this design it's also discovered by um, uh, Minecraft addict and here's a better look at the design this is the input block the redstone wire is redirected around by passing this uh, redstone torch and sent into the other piston. When there's a signal, the redstone wire redirects itself and goes into the other piston as uh, per the other design or the first design. Uh, the glass block blocks this redstone uh, torch from sending a signal out whereas uh, the cobblestone allows it to go through. Uh, this allows for um, a consistent signal without breaks and uh, the entire operation is fairly quick. Uh, even quicker than some of the uh, T flip pop designs using only redstone. And it should work uh, in 1.7 provided that uh, glass blocks are not changed, uh, that they still um, block, uh, or still act as uh, air blocks, and um, uh, that there are no Bugs uh, from um, blocks moving and redstone uh, wires. But yeah, that's a T flip flop using only pistons and some redstone. Thanks.